Okay, this is a great problem, sort of to highlight this important concept about, about slopes. And I always teach this to students. I, I enjoy this because it's very intuitive. Here's, here's the problem, though. Let's get to it really quickly. You have two lines. One of them is K. That's K. And they both cross through this point. That one is L. And this is our standard x-axis. This is our standard y-axis. Here's the origin, the nice 0, 0 point. You have column A, you have column B. And they simply want to know, okay, slope, we'll just use S for slope. Here's slope of K or slope of L. Okay, well, here again, K and L. And people would say, huh, I need to come up with a point here, which they've actually even named P. And you're going to think, hmm, this is 0, this is negative 2 maybe, or negative 1 or negative 3. And then you're going to come up, plug in another value here and another value and find the slopes. And you're taking forever. Here's the great thing with slopes. It's intuitive. You can just look at a line. So let's say this dot right here were a ball. What would happen? Well, if it were a ball, it would have to roll down. And if it were to roll down, you could see that it would roll really, really fast. That means it's really, really steep. Here, if this were a ball, it would roll down, but not as fast. Therefore, if the steeper this is, the higher this or the greater the slope. And so it's really that easy. Meaning this line here, look at that. That's a really flat slope. Or you can think of it this way. K is a hiker. Which one would you rather hike up? Well, you'd probably rather hike up this one or L versus K. K is the steepest. So the steeper line, the greater the slope. And the only twist is if it's going this way. If it's going this way, if the line goes this way, something becomes a negative slope. And so this is a very negative slope going downhill here. But if it's going uphill, it's always positive. And here's that steep line, it's a positive, it's going uphill, therefore the answer is A.